Picture this, WrestleMania 18, The Rock vs. Hollywood Hulk Hogan. One of the most legendary matches ever, right? But here's the big question everyone's asking. Why did The Rock, the great one himself, never go head to head with the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels? But before we answer that, please give our channel a chance by subscribing, giving a thumbs up and clicking the bell, because this will help our work a lot. Now, let's get to our content. First off, let's rewind. Over the years, The Rock has dropped some serious hints about his dream matches. He's mentioned wanting to throw down with legends like Macho Man Randy Savage, and who wouldn't want to see that? Later on, The Rock had his sights set on Sting in his prime, Rey Mysterio. And yes, you guessed it, Shawn Michaels. So, why didn't The Rock and Shawn Michaels ever clash in the ring? It's wild because these two icons were in the WWE during some of the most epic eras, both the Attitude Era and the Ruthless Aggression Era. Even when HBK made his comeback after that gnarly back injury, the timing seemed perfect, but for some reason, the WWE never booked them for a match. It's got fans scratching their heads, and we're here to unravel this. Throughout their careers, both The Rock and Shawn Michaels had their share of ups and downs. HBK was out for a chunk of time due to his back injury, and when he finally returned, The Rock was starting to juggle his wrestling career with his Hollywood gigs. It seemed like the stars just never aligned for these two to meet in the ring. But there are whispers and rumors that The Rock might have had some personal reasons for not wanting to do this matchup. According to many reports, tensions between The Rock and Shawn Michaels reportedly started when Michaels and Marty Jannetty were working for Leah Mavia, The Rock's grandmother, at her Polynesian pro wrestling promotion. It's said that Michaels showed disrespect towards Leah Mavia, which angered a teenage Dwayne Johnson, nearly resulting in a confrontation. A new chapter to that rivalry occurred in 1999, where during an incident, Shawn Michaels delivered a super kick to The Rock. The Rock took exception to it. According to The Rock's father, Rocky Johnson, Shawn threw the sweet chin music and I guess he kicked him a little too hard. So, Dwayne went back to the dressing room and said, Hey man, you hit me a little too hard, calm down. But then Michaels got smart with him and said, If you can't take it, then you shouldn't be in this business. The next thing you know, he's on the floor, and Dwayne is on top of him. Rocky Johnson mentioned in the interview that he wasn't present when the incident allegedly occurred and only learned about it through stories. There might also have been lingering resentment from The Rock's early days in the WWF. According to Brett, the hitman Hart, Shawn Michaels and Hunter Hearst Helmsley were reportedly envious of Johnson at one point and attempted to persuade Hart to defeat Johnson for the Intercontinental Championship. Hart discusses this in his memoir, stating, I didn't see the need to beat Rocky. It wouldn't have generated any heat for my new heel turn and would have only undercut a genuine talent. I insisted on a disqualification finish, which enraged Hunter. He and Sean harbored strong animosity towards Rocky and were too focused on their own agendas to recognize that Rocky was destined to become one of the greatest superstars in the history of our business. The Rock was likely aware of Michaels and Helmsley's behind the scenes maneuvering. And if not, Bret Hart would have likely informed him. This factor could have influenced The Rock's decision to decline opportunities to work with Michaels. While there seemed to be animosity between the two Hall of Famers, it's believed they resolved their differences in 2008 when the Mavia family was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Despite their past disagreements, which deprived fans of what could have been an epic match in WWE history, their reconciliation marked a significant moment. So there you have it, the reasons why The Rock never squared off against Shawn Michaels. Feel free to share your thoughts below, subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned for more wrestling content in the future.